Paripaj Kacharja Ashtotar Satashi Shimad AC Bhakti Vedanta Shami Raj Prabhupada Ki Jai Jai Ki Vaishnavrinda Ki Jai Jai Acharya Shri Haridas Thakur Ki Jai Jai Namaste to all Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nitananda Shri Advaita Vedanta Shiva Sadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai Sri Sri Radha Krishna Gop Gopinath Sham Kunradha Kunikidi Govardhan ki jai, Vrindavan Tham ki jai, Navadip Tham ki jai, Jagannath Puri ki jai, Ganga Mai ki jai, Jaman Mai ki jai, Tulsi Devi ki jai, Bhakti Devi ki jai, Samaveta Bhakta Vrinda ki jai. All glories to the assembled devotees. All glories to the assembled devotees. All glories to the assembled devotees. Go Kramen on day. Hey, Hari Bol. Thank you so much, Maharaj. And thank you, everyone, for joining us for Srimad Bhagavatam class with His Holiness Jaya Dvaita Swami. It is Friday, June 10th, 2022. And we are reading tonight in the third canto, fifth chapter, starting with verse number 26. And as always, we're very eager to hear your comments and questions. And if someone would like to lead tonight's closing kirtan, go ahead and send me a direct message. And if you'd like to be on the list of those who may be interested in giving class, should Maharaj not be able to, uh, also send me a direct message and we'll expand the kirtan in that way. Also, um, take care uh, if you're putting something in the chat window to not post it when Maharaj is reading there. It just makes his life difficult and no one should want to do that. Thank you very much for being with us, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, Akendra Prabhu. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Kalavritya Tumayayam Una Mayam Adhokshajaha. Purushen Atma Bhutena Virya Madhatta Virya Van Hare Krishna Yes, no. The Supreme Living Being in his feature as the transcendental Oh, just please close the door. The Supreme Living Being in his feature as the transcendental Purusha incarnation, who is the Lord's plenary expansion, 
impregnates the material nature of three modes, and thus, by the influence of eternal time, the living entities appear. Purport. The offspring of any living being is born after the father impregnates the mother with semen. The living entity floating in the semen of the father takes the shape of the mother's form. Similarly, mother material nature cannot produce any living entity from her material elements unless and until she is impregnated with living entities by the Lord himself. That is the mystery of the generation of the living entities. This impregnating process is performed by the first Purusha incarnation, Karanar, uh, Karnarnavashaya Vishnu. Simply by his glance over material nature, the whole matter is accomplished. Om Jnana Timirandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshun Militam Jaina Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Bhistam Stapitam Jaina Bhutale Vayam Bhutam Aki Shapadantikam Pandehang Shri Guru Shri Jatapadakamalan Shri Gurun Vaishnavamscha Shri Rupam Shagrajatam Shahagana Raghunatan Vitam Stam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadhutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Shahagana Lalita Sri Vishakan Vitamscha E Krishna Karuna Sindho Dina Bandho Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostute Tapta Kamsana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavaneshari Prishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hori Priye Pancha Kolpatarubhyascha Kripa Sindho Pyevacha, Padidanam Pavanebhyo, Vaishnavebhyo Namo Namaha. Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Shri Advaita Gadadhar, Shri Vashadi Gaur Bhakta Rinda. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama Rama Hari Hari Kalavritya to Mayayam Gunamayam Adhokshajaha Purushena Mubhutena Viryam Adhatta Viryavan The process of creation is begins with the supreme living being Adhokshaja, who is beyond the scope of the material nature. In the spiritual world, the Lord is there as Adhokshaja, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And he expands himself in another form of Godhead as the uh, Karnadakshay Vishnu. And that uh, form of the Lord impregnates the material nature. The material nature has no capability independently to give um, birth to living beings. The Lord acts as the seed-giving father, Aham Bija Prada Pita. Uh, and that's then material nature is able to give birth to the living beings. Srila Prabhupada offered this in Bombay in his last Pandal lecture there, lectures there. Someone challenged, can you prove by logic that there is God? And Prabhupada uh, said that there's material nature, 
Mother Nature, and there are living beings, children, and so there must be a father. That's logic. So um, that's uh, stated here. Um, we'll read on. We should not understand the process of impregnation by the personality of Godhead in terms of our conception of sex. The omnipotent Lord can impregnate just by his eyes, and therefore he is called all potent. Each and every part of his transcendental body can perform each and every function of the other parts. This is confirmed in the Brahma Sangita, Angani Yasya Sakalendriya Vritti Manti. In Bhagavad Gita also, the same principle is confirmed. Mama Yonir Mahad Brahma Dasmin Garbam Tatamyaham. When the cosmic creation is manifested, the living entities are directly supplied from the Lord. They are never products of material nature. Thus, no scientific advancement of material science can ever produce a living being. That is the whole mystery of the material creation. This is boldly, Srila Prabhupada is asserting this on the strength of Vedic knowledge. The scientists are speculating we may be able to create life, uh, this, that. And Prabhupada just boldly says, never because life is not a product of material nature. The living, the seed of the living being is uh, introduced into material nature by the glance of the Lord. The living entities are far into matter, and thus they cannot be happy unless they are situated in the same spiritual life as the Lord. The mistaken living being out of forgetfulness of this original condition of life, unnecessarily wastes time trying to become happy in the material world. The whole Vedic process is to remind one of this eternal, essential feature of life. The Lord offers the conditioned soul a material body for his so-called enjoyment. But if one does not come to his senses, and enter into spiritual consciousness, the Lord again puts him in the unmanifested condition as it existed in the beginning of the creation. The Lord is described here as Viryavan, or the greatest potent being, because he impregnates material nature with innumerable living entities who are conditioned from time immemorial. Moving back here. So, uh, Kalavritya means by the business of time, by the influence of time. Uh, Kalavritya, material nature works within the jurisdiction of time. Nothing happens without time. So, time plays a role in creation. So mayayam, gunamayam, material nature consists of uh, the three material modes. And by the influence of the Purusha avatar, Purushen Atma Bhutain, Atma Bhutain is Srila Prabhupada, glosses in the word for word as the plenary expansion of the Lord. Uh, that plenary expansion, viryam adatta, viryavan, virya means uh, potency, virya means semen, virya means uh, seed. Adatta, he uh, gave that. Uh, viryavan, because he's viryavan, viryavan means uh, potent. We have our English word vira. A uh, viral. Uh, so viryavan, having potency. The Lord is potency, has potency 
and so he can impregnate the material nature just as a potent male can impregnate a female. So the mm, creation takes place uh, in this way. Let's see, are there any comments, questions? Uh, Prabhin put something in the chat window, Maharaj. I'm not sure if you saw it. Would you agree that God is just a concept? If you do not, please give a logical reason for that. Prabhupada, why should I why shall I agree that God is only a concept? Uh, because I want it logically. You do not know logic. You have to learn logic. But I would still like you to explain it logically. Yes, but you have to learn how to know it. There's master, just like you cannot prove logically that without father there is child. Srila Prabhupada explained that everything we see is growing out of the earth, and the earth is described in the Vedas as the mother. But there cannot be a child without a father. Where there is mother and child, there must be father. God, therefore, is the father of everything. Yes, where's this from? Yes, we'll find out. Okay. So we, uh, probably Lamrata. Okay. Ah. Uh. Text 27. Tato bhavan mahat tatvam avyaktat kala choditat vigyanat matma dehas tam vishvam vyanjams tamo nudaha. Thereafter, influenced by the interactions of eternal time, the supreme sum total of matter called the mahat tatva became manifested. And in this Mahatattva, the unalloyed goodness, the Supreme Lord sowed the seeds of universal manifestation out of his own body. So there's a lot of a lot packed into this verse, uh, some of it quite technical, and we'll see how much we can understand. Uh, yes. Hare Krishna. I'm in charge of answering the door knocks here. No, I'm not going to do it. No, I will. Purport. In due course of time, the impregnated material energy was manifested first as the total material ingredients. Everything takes its own time to fructify, and therefore the word kalachoditat, influenced by time, is used herein. So that's the first thing we come across this twice in the previous verse and in this verse, Kala Chodi Tat, uh, impelled by time, influenced by time. So everything takes time. Everything takes its own time to fructify. Uh, nothing happens without time. Srila Prabhupada gave the example. You may have a pot of water sitting on the stove, but unless you add time, the water will never boil. It takes time. So nothing happens without time. And therefore, the time energy of the Lord is required uh, for the progress of the cosmic manifestation. So the first thing manifested, the Lord casts his glance. Now he's created pregnancy in material nature. And so material nature is going to develop uh, the... Mm, bodies of the living beings and first the the 
environment of the cosmic manifestation. So the first thing produced is the Mahat Tattva, or the mm, total material ingredients. Uh, the, we talked about this before, that the Maya has two features, or the material energy has two features. First, as the ingredient supplying agent, and uh, then uh, mm, as the active uh, material energy. The Mahat Tattva is the total consciousness because a portion of it is represented in everyone as the intellect. I admit to not understanding that. I would be interested to see. Uh, it, it appears to be dealt with by Srila Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur. I'd be interested to see what the Sanskrit is for that. Uh, but just taking it as it is, the Mahat Tattva is the total uh, consciousness. And let's move back. Because a portion of it is represented as in everyone as the intellect. Uh, seems like chitta is the, the word, the relevant word there. In any case. The Mahat Tattva is directly connected with the Supreme Consciousness of the Supreme Being, but still it appears as matter. The Mahat Tattva, or shadow of pure consciousness, is the germinating place of all creation. So we get this picture of the Mahat Tattva as being connected with the Supreme Consciousness, and yet not conscious in itself. And here it's also described as the shadow of pure consciousness. Not pure consciousness itself, but the shadow of pure consciousness. And it's in this shadow of pure consciousness that the uh, creation begins. The Mahat Tattva is pure goodness with a slight addition of the material mode of passion. And therefore, activity is generated from this point. This made me wonder as I was reading the verse about really a punctuation question. The uh, in this Mahat Tattva, the unalloyed goodness, the Supreme Lord, sowed the seeds of universal manifestation out of his own body. I'm not quite sure if that's punctuated properly or not. It could very well be, or it could read differently. If you take out, um, if you add a comma, if you move the comma about, you get, the, you get this. In this Mahatattva, the unalloyed goodness, the Supreme Lord sowed the seeds of universal manifestation. So then you have the Mahatattva as being the unalloyed goodness. Otherwise, uh, in this Mahatattva, the unalloyed goodness, the Supreme Lord, sowed the seeds of universal manifestation. So I'm not quite sure which the correct reading is, and the manuscript seems to me not entirely clear on this. But the, in any case, in the purport, it's stated that the Mahat Tattva is uh, pure goodness with the slight addition of the material mode of passion. Well, the Lord himself, we understand, is unalloyed goodness. But here, the, the Mahat Tattva is also being described as uh, pure goodness with the slight addition of passion. So... Uh, fortunately, I'm not. Uh, I have no editorial responsibilities. So, some anymore. So, someone is going to have to decide where the commas go. Um, then there's one other point I wanted to make, and then we'll come to the, the chat box. Mater the material nature, the Mahat Tattva is pure goodness with a slight addition of passion. And therefore, activity is generated from this point. 
because you need passion to get things going. Um, the goodness tends toward uh, maintaining the things as they are, and it's passion that, that gets things moving. So the material nature has this, uh, or the Mahatattva, the unloyedness has a slight tinge of passion that uh, gets things moving, gets the creation moving. Okay, to the chat box. And there's a lot in the chat box all of a sudden, so let me scroll if I can. Tulsi Priya says, when people use the term universal intelligence or universal consciousness, presumably out of an aversion to the idea of a personal God, can we take that to mean the Mahatattva? Uh, I wouldn't take it to mean the Mahatattva. I would take it to be just mm, a, a verbal representation of their uh, fuzzy-minded ideas. Uh, if you ask the person who's, who's speaking about the universal consciousness, oh, do you mean the Mahatattva? Uh, they wouldn't say that. They have this idea that there's an all-pervading consciousness or an all-pervading uh, universal uh, consciousness, not personal, but uh, there. So when they have that idea, do they are they thinking of the Mahatattva? No, they're not. Um, they have something else in mind. Vijay Krishna. Now, I, did I skip any comments? Let me just double check here. No, I didn't. Okay. Vijay Krishna says, I do think it was a German individual who visited different places around the world in search of God. And when he visited a temple in India and saw Krishna on the altar holding his flute, he said, I think I just found God because I never expected God to be a working fellow, but the exact opposite, like a fellow who lives his life by just enjoying, uh, like by the playing of the flute. Based on this, how do you explain the Lord implicating himself in activities so laborious as impregnating the material nature with living entities and activities of a similar sort. Well, first of all, regarding that history, it was uh, God brother of Srila Prabhupada, where he later became a God brother. Uh, Sadan, and I believe his name was, a German, yes, a German fellow, a German devotee. Uh, he traveled to different places in India. And he saw this deity as, you know, is chopping off the heads of demons. This deity is doing this. This deity is doing that. But when he came to Krishna, he saw that Krishna was just enjoying. So he thought, here's God. And Prabhupada cited this in connection with Natasya Karyam Karnam Javidyate, the description of God in the Upanishads as having nothing to do. So, um, yes, so that's the, the story. As far as uh, this point is made elsewhere, that actually Krishna, Adhokshadra, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, is beyond even the Vishnu avatars because they are doing something. They are doing something in relationship to material nature, creating, maintaining, and so on. Whereas in Vrindavan, Krishna has no business with material nature. He's not overseeing 
how things are going is independent. So this arrangement is like that. Um, the Lord expands. The Lord is playing in Vrindavan, but he expands as the Purush avatars, and they get involved with material nature. But hardly. Uh, the, the hard work here is, is hardly what you'd call work. He's just glancing over the cosmic manifestation. Sa'aikshita, and everything comes into existence. Uh, hardly what we'd call work. You know, if it, like right now, computers, you, 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 you type something out and or you move your mouse and something happens, then you get more advanced and you can touch the screen and make things happen. Uh, but more advanced still would be, just be that you glance at the screen and, and what you want happens. And just glancing. So uh, we haven't reached that yet with screen technology or mouse technology. But the Lord has that. He just glances over material nature. Um, he doesn't have to impregnate the way impregnation goes on uh, by the conditioned souls. He just glances. Uh, never even has to touch material nature, just to, uh, throws her a glance, and that's enough. But even that, Krishna doesn't do. Uh, he leaves that to the Purush avatars. Tulsi Priya says, people will say something like the intelligence of nature or a kind of intelligence without conscious awareness, such as higher animals or humans have. Yeah, they try to ascribe intelligence uh, to material nature. Uh, material nature is innately intelligent, independently intelligent. It, it uh, therefore does this or does that. But it's, this is either, uh, what would you say, for, or a misuse of uh, metaphor to, to present sort of a sloppy picture or a sloppy argument for mm -hmm, matter giving rise to conscious life. I, I mentioned before, there's a friend of my sister's who's uh, involved with a group where we're promoting this idea of supposedly scientific the supposedly scientific narrative of, of life arising from matter. And she's written a book for children in which the universe is like a little cartoon character and the universe says, and then I decided to do this, and then I wanted to do that, and then I did this, and then I... Uh, as if the material nature itself were independently conscious and had therefore wishes and desires and decisions and so on. Uh, this is all uh, doesn't really fit. If material nature is, is just mechanical, then where's the question of intelligence uh, or desire or what do we? What is it that? Uh, yeah, these these different ideas that are given. Uh, so these are sort of bluffy or fuzzy ideas. Murari Gupta says, "Can you elaborate on how time influences the interaction of everything, and is not just a passive backdrop for activity?" We would say that water on a pot boils due to the influence of heat, not time. Well, then why don't you, why does it say, you know, take, why do we say that it takes 10 minutes for, for a pot to boil? If it's just heat, not time, uh, why doesn't water boil itself in no time? Or why doesn't the pot boil the water in no time? You absolutely need time for these things to happen. Um, pregnancy. Why nine months? Why not immediately? You need time. You need time. And time is not just a backdrop, but time uh, enables things to happen. Uh, if you don't think so, subtract time. 
You see what happens, nothing happens. No, time is a necessary active agent in, in making things happen. You must have time. Mm -hmm. You must have time. Anything else? Oh, wait, I know I'm jumping. Hold on a second, let me scroll here. Oh yeah, there's a lot more. I know I'm jumping ahead to the next verse, but while the Mahatattva is described in this verse as in the mode of goodness, in the next, it's described as chiefly in the mode of ignorance. Well, okay, you are jumping ahead. Let me see what's going on. That appears to be an editing artifact um, in the next verse because it says that it's chiefly in the mode of goodness, but we know that there's um, intelligence and goodness, intelligence and passion, intelligence and ignorance, and that the different items, the senses come from one and the uh, sense objects come from another, material elements from another. Oh, everything's busy tonight. They're knocking on their door. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. The parts are on the guide back, no? No, Prabhu. Okay. Um, okay. You might talk, post a little note close till eight. Um, we did that chart way back in second canto. I don't have it right in front of me, nor do I remember exactly what it is, how it goes. But these different items come from, some things come from uh, material nature and passions, or false ego and passions, some uh, goodness, some ignorance. So uh, I don't think the intention here is to say that Mahatattva is must be in ignorance. Well, let's see. It does say that chiefly in the modern opinion. Yeah, let's look at it again. Yeah, it doesn't even. It's not even in the Sanskrit there. Oh yes, maybe. Uh, P. Angsa Guna, chiefly the quality of ignorance. Yeah, I don't think I have an answer to your question right away. I think that's the best answer to see if there's anything else. Guru mm -hmm. is, is Is Guna ever translated as mode of ignorance? Here it is. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't have more to contribute. I would have to study that, and then even then, I probably wouldn't be able to answer the question. Sorry for that. No, that's all right. Thank you, Guru. Um, Guru says, "Doubting Thomas, Bhagavatam attributes the time factor as the key factor of creation." Prabhupada describes how. The water does not boil except over time. But the time factor seems to be a given. Is there any situation where the time factor is not present? Uh, yes, could I have some water, please? Uh, before the Lord glances over the material nature, there's no time. And therefore, nothing's happening. I think you'll find a description in elsewhere in the third canto, like a golden egg uh, lying on the mm, causal ocean, the, the cosmic manifestation in the form of a golden egg, and nothing happens. It just lies there. 
until the Lord enters his time. Basically, what you have is the material nature in the form of the ingredient supplying portion. But the ingredient supplying portion doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. Material nature has to enter deployment mode, the, the mode in which it's acting, in which it's doing something. And mm -hmm. What makes that happen? Um, time. And the Lord stimulates the material nature uh, with time. Therefore, we read, we read in the previous verse that the material nature was, it wasn't even seen. Uh, it was unseen. The Lord was the seer. Material nature was the scene, but material was, nature wasn't manifest. So she's described as just like a sleeping wife. There's no enjoying with a sleeping wife. The wife has to wake up, and then there's enjoyment. So the Lord wanted to awaken the material nature so that the material nature would perform her function in regard to the conditioned souls. So what is it that stimulates the material nature? It's time. The Lord, uh, it's described elsewhere, invests his time energy in the material nature. He impregnates material nature with the living entities and time. And time is necessary. It's not just a background. It's, it's the, the force that moves things forward. Otherwise, there is no forward. Without time, there's, there's no forward motion because there's no direction, no, uh, yeah, no direction. Thank you very much, Maharaj. I just mm -hmm. had a thought as you were describing that um, the whole materialist idea of uh, cry, uh, putting a body in cryogenic uh, freezing uh, is, is perhaps that could be characterized as a materialist idea of freezing time, that time is, not a factor. <laughs> yeah, freezing time. They, all, all this idea of cry, cryogenics and uh, life from matter and so on, it, it's really a, what's the word? Um, conceit of the materialists will be able to uh, conquer over the forces of nature, will be able to create living beings, will be able to uh, revive them once they die. All of these sort of things are based on ignorance and on uh, pretense. Yeah. Tulsi Priya asks, how can it be unalloyed goodness if there's a, 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 a tinge of passion? Yeah, it's unalloyed, but then a little, you know, we say unalloyed, but then there's, there's this little passion that's introduced. So then technically you say, yes, well, it's not unalloyed, but originally unalloyed, by nature unalloyed, but passion gets in your And so things develop. Yes. What is it that influences activity in the spiritual world if time is absent? Uh, love of Krishna. <laughs> love of Krishna is the mm, impelling force in the spiritual world. There's no need of time to get things going. Time is, is absent. There's eternal presence. Yeah. Okay, anything else? Krishna, Krishna. All right. These things are interesting and at the same time a little difficult to penetrate, a little, little technical, but I think it's rewarding to whatever extent we're able to understand these things. Let us try to understand. Let's see how we're doing in terms of length of things. Yeah. 
think we have time for one more. So Pyang Shaguna Kal Atma Bhagavat Trishti Kocharaha Atmanam Vyakarod Atma Vishvasyasya Sashrikshaya. Thereafter, the Mahatattva differentiated itself into many different forms as the reservoir of the would-be entities. The Mahatattva is chiefly in the mode of ignorance and it generates the false ego. It is a plenary expansion of the personality of Godhead with full consciousness of creative principles and time for fructification. So this Mahatattva is a very mysterious entity. I don't, I don't think we're going to get a full understanding of it this evening, but uh, we just have to read it and try to understand it as best we can. Purport, the Mahatattva is the via medium between pure spirit and material existence. It is the junction of matter and spirit, where from the false ego of the living entity is generated. So that's the first thing. The false ego represents the hmm, tendency of the living being to identify with matter. We have nothing to do with matter, but under the influence of false ego, we imagine a material identity. All living entities are differentiated parts and parcels of the personality of Godhead. Under the pressure of false ego, the conditioned souls, although parts and parcels of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, claim to be the enjoyers of material nature. This false ego is the binding force of material existence. The Lord again and again gives a chance to the bewildered conditioned souls to get free from this false ego. And that is why the material creation takes place at intervals. He gives the conditioned souls all facilities for rectifying the activities of the false ego. But he does not interfere with their small independence as parts and parcels of the Lord, that is, of him. All right. I think, um, let's see, there's another comment? No. I think we can, oh yes, there is, Kendra Prabhu. Thank you, Maharaj. I like the way Prabhupada worded this here, that um, he says, under the pressure of false ego, the conditioned souls claim to be the enjoyers. You know, sometimes I have this concept that the the false ego, the mind, their their subtle element of the, 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 you know, the material conception itself. But here is he's uh, he's attributing in this like there's a force present that the like the false ego actually exerts a pressure on the living entity that that, that actually makes us think in a certain way, which totally makes sense that these things aren't just. Uh, um inactive uh, elements like just hanging out they're doing things to us and I, I like the word pressure because it's exactly what it feels like certainly yes. i'm afraid i'm a little tired now i'm not processing well, we have we have a kirtan man on deck. If you're uh, if you're ready for kirtan, well, I'm ready for it. Jai, thank you. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram. Ram Ram Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 
Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram Ram Hare 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 Krishna 
राम राम हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल निताय गौर हरि बोल निताय गौर हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल निताय गौर हरि बोल जाय ओम विष्णु पाद पुनमन सुपरिव्राज कचार्य स्तोत्र श्री श्रीमद ए सी भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी महाराज प्रभुपाद की जय अनंत कोटि वैष्णव वृंद की जय नाम आचार्य श्री दोहिरास ठाकुर की जय प्रेम से कहो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्री वासरी गौर भक्त वृंद की जय श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण गोप गोपीनाथ श्याम कुंड राधा कुंड गिरि गोवर्धन की जय वृंदावन धाम की जय नवदीप धाम की जय जगन्नाथ पुरी की जय गंग मई की जय जमन मई की जय तुलसी देवी की जय भक्ति देवी की जय समवेता भक्त वृंद की जय ऑल ग्लोरीज टू दिसम्बल दीज ऑल ग्लोरीज टू दिसम्बल दीज श्रीमद भागवतम की जय जय हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण Hare Rama Hare Krishna So see you tomorrow Maharaj at the New York Ratha Yatra Ah New York Ratha Yatra okay we'll see you and Panchatat was here represented by his wife and daughter so <laughs> thank you very much Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna